So, um, for you guys that don't know, this is my last year in my 20s. So, this is one reason why I wanted to do this video to help the young people to know, like, what to do and what not to do. You know, like, what you don't want to do, what you don't want to go through. Hey, YouTube family, and welcome back to my another video. <laughs> I would say to my channel, another video, but welcome, welcome, welcome back. So for you guys who don't know me, I am Don Marie. That's me. Yeah, Don Marie, that's me. And in this video, we'll be going over habits that will keep you poor in your 20s. Yes, these are realistic habits that I experienced myself because I really wish someone told me don't do these things, work on these things. These things will really help you when you get older. So I am going to share with you and hope this will help you if you're in your early 20s or so. And it can also help the older people too because I'm always talking about these things and how like we need to start working on getting these things together. So let me stop mumbling because I can talk. As I always say in my video, I can talk. But I have a list of things right here so let's get started habits that will keep you poor in your 20s right number one hanging around the wrong crowd bad friendships let me tell you i have experienced it so i've experienced it a lot right so this is my last year in my 20s and I can test to you that bad friendships, bad relationships will definitely keep you poor in your 20s. And what I mean by bad relationships, wrong crowds, bad friendships, like, you know, when it's going to get, you're going to come to, you're going to get to a point in your life, right? where you're going to want to level up you're going to want to do things differently you're going to want to level up and the friends and the friendships that you have that you create in like high school or in college sometimes they are just not ready to level up to where you're trying to do right so you're going to get to that and sometimes being around the wrong crowd and the bad friendships it can definitely mess it mess up you leveling up because a lot of people don't know but like having good influence around you like can really help you level up i have stories for days which i probably do another video on like story time but i have stories and stories for days right like really like stories for days of bad relationships and how you have to sometimes leave those people in the past. You got to leave them in the past. I really feel like, you know, God talked to us in our gut. When you have that gut feeling that something ain't right and this ain't right, this ain't working out and this ain't right, like, listen to it. Like, listen, because I've had that many times. Like, even when people say, hey, shawty's not right for you or dude's not right for you or shawty been talking about how you're bad that's not really your good friend she's not really your friend like you shouldn't be hanging around her like listen to those people because nine out of ten they know what they're talking about and they see something that you don't see so you really just need to like have an eye opener on who to hang around with who to be around with and making sure they're on the same level and like mindset as you number two number two not having a plan, not having a plan with what you want to do in life. And what I mean by that, like not having a plan, like let's just say, I know for me, I was a teen mom. So I had to make sure I had a plan because I had a little one to take care of. I was a teen mom. I had my son when I was in high school. So this is for the girls who are teen moms. And this is for the girls who ain't team moms, who ain't got no kids, right? You only responsible for yourself. Stay that way. <laughs> Stay that way. But this is for anyone. What I mean by having a plan, like I know when we get out of high school, we just like, we, we done. We done with school. We done. Like, oh, shoot. Like, I ain't got to go to school. And then, you know, some people go to college. 
if you don't go to college, that's fine. That's so, that's fine. But please, like, try to plan something. Try to plan something, y'all. Like, something. It's pretty much giving something. I need y'all to plan something. Understand? Going to school for four years is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Student loans is out the woo-ha. So having a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C, get in the trade. If you don't want to go to school full-time, at least go get a trade. And you can get a trade in six months. You can get a trade in a year. Get Have something. If you want to become an entrepreneur, start investing. Start investing in yourself. Start investing in whatever the craft you want to do. If you want to, um, anything, like start figuring out something, just start with something, you know? And like, for instance, say, like, say if you don't know, like say you say, Don, I don't know what I want to do once you get out of high school. Like, I don't know. Help me, Don. Don, help me. I don't know. Well, I can definitely give you guys a person that I watch on a daily basis. His name is Tony Gaskins. If you guys do not know Tony, I better follow Tony because he will put you in your place. So the things that I would say, if you do not have something, this is Tony. This is one of Tony's quotes. Work on your three B's. Now, if you don't know Tony, and you're probably like, Don, what is three B's? The three B's that Tony gives you is to work on. If you don't have a plan, if you don't know what you're doing, but at least just start somewhere, work on your three B's. That's brain, that's brand, and that's beauty. Brain is start studying, read more. Read about investments. Read about starting up a business. Read about sales. Read about a lot of things that you don't know that will educate you more. So that is what the brain's like. Take classes, you know, um, take self-motivating classes, self-help classes, anything that will help you get better. So brains, body, br brand, brand is for like when, you know, you want to start up keeping yourself, you know, when we you know, once we leave high school, we're, you know, we're, we're in in one way, you know, in, in some ways you're still trying to find yourself. You're still trying to figure out what you want to do. So you keep continue working on your brand, working on yourself, working on what you want to put out there in the world. You know, just working on just being a better person. That is your brand. Now, I'm not saying brand wise as business, like you yourself is a brand of itself whether you have a business or not once you walk out the door you as a per person represent yourself so definitely work on your brand um the next thing is body body like let me tell you the way i was looking when i was out of high school is not how i look now so your girl is still working on her body because after two kids the body is not the same <laughs> so always work on your body whether it is you want to lose weight, gain weight, tone, do whatever, like work on it. Again, when you step out that house, you are your bread. You are yourself. So working on those three things, if you don't have a plan, just start working on those three things. And then sooner or later, your plan will come into action. You'll know, you'll sooner or later know what your purpose is. But just not having a plan and not doing nothing is, is out of whack. It's out of whack. Like, no, don't do it. So, number three. Number three, not being financially responsible. <sighs> like, y'all, what we not going to do in our 20s is not learn how to be financially responsible. Now, for the people whose parents did not tell them how to be financially responsible, I am so sorry. But guess what? Your girl Dawn is here to show y'all to teach y'all how to be financially responsible because guess what? I was there. I wasn't taught how to be financially responsible. I had to learn by error, by trials and tribulations. <laughs> so I had a lot of errors in my life in my early 20s and mid 20s. Um, I really didn't start taking my financial serious until I was like about 25 on my 25th birthday. 
that's when I was like, you know what? I need to start saving. I need to start working on my credit. I need to start budgeting. So I really didn't start taking it serious until I was about 25. And your girl is about to be 29 now. So for all the girls who are in high school or about to graduate or in college, you know, you know, in, in college, you got a head start. Start working on it. And what I mean by being financially responsible, start working on your credit. Don't put no card, don't put no guy card in the, in your name. Don't put no, um, don't put nothing in <laughs> your name for nobody, especially if they don't have no job, especially if they don't have good credit yourself, their sales. Like, that's the type of financial responsibility because your girl did that before. Don't do it. Okay. So, don't put no car, no car for no man in your name if it ain't your husband. Start working on your credit. Start, if you're going to get credit cards, make sure you're financially responsible on spending the credit cards. Making sure you pay that balance off in full. Making sure you're paying the monthly. Don't be late on no bills. Set up that payment for student loans, if you got to right now, we don't have to make payments right now. But when the time comes, set it up. Don't let it go. Don't let it. Don't have no late fees. Don't miss no payments. Set it up auto. I know a lot of people don't like auto payment set up, but that's the best thing you can do. Set it up auto because we're humans. We we make mistakes, but having something that will that you know is out there that will save you, set up those auto payments because I'm telling you. This, bro, if you set up these auto payments, it's going to save your life. I'm telling you, set up those auto payments. Budgeting. I know we like to spend. I know I was spending like crazy in my 20s. I was just thinking like all the money I had. Dang. I was spending like crazy. I was going on trips. I was going to parties. I was doing this. And I'm not saying you don't have to have fun. Yes, life is still fun. But budget, make sure you got your expenses to the T. Like, make sure all your bills are paid. Like, let me tell you, in my 20s, I wasn't making sure all my bills was paid. I was making payment arrangements. I was like, I'm going to pay half on this bill, and I'm going to go spend that on the, at the club. Or I'm going to take a trip on that, and I'm going to pay. Like, don't, you don't want to do this because I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you don't do what you need to do, it's. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fall back. It's going to fall back on y'all. I'm telling you, it's going to fall back. Because let me tell you, your girl is just cleaning up her mistakes. Like, thank goodness I'm trying. I, I'm cleaning up all my mistakes that I made in my early 20s because of the people. Every I always hear, you in your 20s. Have fun. There's no need for you to... To be so serious. And I'm not saying it's no need to be. It, it, it's no need to be serious. Like, yeah, you're young. But put in the work now so you can enjoy your 30s and your 40s. I see too many 30-year-olds and 40-year-olds that's just now trying to get their life together. Baby, they are getting their life together because they wasn't together when they was 18. They was partying. They was doing this. They was doing that. And it's. And I'm not saying you can't party. I'm not saying you can't have fun. But just think realistic. Do you want to start struggling in your 30s and 40s? No, you want to live your life in your 30s and 40s. I know I do. I know I do. I keep looking at the camera like here. And I need to be looking here. So if I'm looking this way, y'all, please forgive me. I'm sorry. But yes, like. Literally, we need to be really focusing on the goal. And the goal is to, yes, have fun, live life, be free, but also be responsible. Be financially responsible. Like, let's get it together. So, because if someone would have told me, done, slow down, work on your life, get it together <laughs> when I was in my early 20s. All this <laughs> would have happened. So, number four. Number four is not taking life seriously. Partying, drinking, smoking, all that. Now, as we were saying before, on three, on number three, is nothing wrong with that. But 
learn how to balance it but really focus on the things that really matter and it is about freedom financial freedom freedom to enjoy life and do what you want to do but you can't enjoy life and do what you want to do if you're broke <laughs> you can't enjoy life and do what you want to do if you're broke i'm telling you Sis, I'm just starting to enjoy my life. Like, I'm telling you, you don't want to do this to yourself. Like, y'all, y'all will really enjoy y'all 30s and 40s. Really, really enjoy it. So, that's number four. Told y'all I can talk. <laughs> number five. Number five. Now, this could have been, this should have been number one. This should have been number one of all, but number five, number five. The habit, habits that will make you poor in your 20s and you just must avoid is not having a relationship with God. You need to make sure you have a relationship with God. God. Now, I'm not trying to force religion on you. Let me tell you. Uh, your girl is not trying to force religion on nobody. But having a relationship with God will help you tremendously. Uh, when I tell you, I, um, I was a person that grew up in church. My mom made sure we went to go to church every Sunday. Yes. When I got older, I was like, uh, I don't, I didn't really, really like the church that I grew up in, you know, you know, those type of churches where you, you know, you got to wear the skirts, can't wear pants, everybody know your business, you know, all that is very judgmental. I didn't like that. So I, what I did was one thing I did, and I think with me having a relationship with God and God knowing, knowing my heart and knowing that I kept pushing that like all the trials and tribulations that I went through in my 20s, I feel like because I had a relationship with God, it really like didn't put me in that dark place of all the stuff I went through. And that's a whole nother story I can tell you guys. Like the things I went through in my, in, in my early mid 20s, people would have probably been able to survive it. But because I had a relationship with God and I knew that my life is going to be better and he had a better thing for me, like it didn't push me over the edge to go that way. So having a relationship with God is very, very, very important because knowing when you have a relationship, you can, you can, you can hear him talk to you. You can feel him. You can feel them here. You can feel them here and you can feel them here. You know, you can feel them here. And let him, he'll, he going to tell you the way you need to move. He going to tell you that cry you don't need to be behind on. You, need, you don't need to be around. He going to tell you that cry you don't need to be around. He going to tell you your passion, what you need to focus on, what you need to put your all into. He's going to tell you not to put that car, that, that do car in your name. He going to tell you all the things that you need to do when you have a relationship with him. And I'm telling you, I'm not trying to preach today, but I'm telling you guys, it's so important to have a, have a relationship with him. It's so important. I kid you not. That's, that's just a whole nother story. I kid you not. But those are the five things that I have for you. It's more things in life. It's, it's more things into that that you need to avoid in your 20s. But those are my top five that I feel as though are important when you're in your 20s. Because that's one thing no one told me. All I used to hear working in an environment, especially working in an environment with a lot of older people is, Oh, you're young. You're in your 20s. Enjoy it. Enjoy your 20s. But one thing I did notice being around a lot of older people is they really didn't have their stuff together. And I'm not saying you would, you, it's a time when you're going to have your stuff together, but they did not have their stuff together. And I, and that's one thing I told myself, you know, that's why I started taking things serious when I was 25. 
because that was one thing I told myself. Before I turn 30, you, you, you're not going to be those 30 year old people, you know, that's living, literally living from paycheck to paycheck, balancing things off, not taking life serious or just now taking life serious. And now it's, it's, it's really beating on them. You know, like I told myself, I'm going to do what I need to do before I turn 30. So this year is my last year, my 20s. Oh, your girl's about to be 30 years old. Am I nervous? Yes, I am. Because I, I just want the best for myself. I want the best for my kids. I want the best for my family. I, I want to show God that, you know, the blessings that he gave me is, is I, I, I'm not taking it for granted. The things he showed me, um, the things he pulled me out of, I'm not taking it for granted. Like I'm really, I'm really like so thankful and blessed. So I really want to come on here and give you that, guys these tips and, and, and give you and, and just empower you, like, and just uplift you guys and, and let y'all know that it's going to be good if you just really just focus, 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 and focus. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead, be done with this video. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And make sure you Go ahead and click that notification button because I'm going to be uploading some more videos pretty soon. And I don't want you guys to miss out on no videos that I have. And I will catch you guys later. Thank you.